The Great Fire of 1910, a mini inquiry by Anna L. This dreadful tragedy was started in northern Idaho. It was a drier sort of winter, the type where little snow falls and it melts early. There was poor spring rain. It was clear that a drought was happening. Despite the drought, there were regular spring occurrences. People worked, birds sang, and camping. One of the best things about camping is the fire. Lots of campgrounds have a sign that reads, please put out your fire, or something along those lines. But lots of people are irresponsible. They leave fires burning. Lots of fires were started that way. The drought didn't help any. Other fires were started by transient fire fighters or other people who wanted to appear good. And locomotives. Locomotives would have red-hot cinders fly off into the forests. By June, there were hundreds of fires in Idaho, Montana, and eastern Washington. On July 15th, an electrical storm came through. It was drier than ever. Streams had simply evaporated as if never existed. A fire's ally is wind. A fire's enemy is water. On August 20th, misfortune struck. Unfortunately, there was no water. However, there was a lot of winds. The winds were strong. It could be compared to those of our tornadoes. The fire started going berserk. This is the start of the great fire. Flames were hundreds of feet in the air. On the 21st, the, ne the west was so smoky that ships more than 500 miles at sea couldn't navigate by the stars. Soot fell in Greenland. During the fire, Ranger Edward Pulaski saved some people. They had wanted to go to Wallace in Idaho or the War Eagle Mine. Both ways were blocked by raging fire. They went to the Nicholson Mine. Many of them survived. Surprisingly, most of the damage occurred during six hours. On August 22nd, cooler temperatures and light rain came. The fire started to seize. That was great. When snow fell, that was when it was truly a miracle. Three million acres had burned. Less than 10% of the wood was able to be saved. The damage was insane. In Wallace, apples were scorched on trees, glass was melted, furniture was reduced down to the metal parts, and tree stumps, they were everywhere. It took years to clear the damage.